What is up, geeks? Welcome back to the Geek Man Cave. Guys, a huge parcel has just arrived downstairs. I'm so excited to unbox it. I have just ordered myself the Darth Vader Hasbro Black Series helmet. I'm so excited. I'm going to go and unbox it now and then we'll do a comparison with some of the other Vader helmets and do a bit of a trial on and a bit of a review. So guys, without further ado, i got to go open this bad boy. So guys, I'm going to be comparing now the Black Series with some of the other Vader helmets I've got in the Van Cave and other helmets that are available to you. And I'm going to be trying them on and showing you what they like as well. So up first, guys, we have Hasbro's Half a Mask Vader helmet. Now you can pick these up from most toy shops at the Disney store. I've got their own version as well. Both of these, if you've seen my Black Panther video, I've picked up in charity shops for very, very cheap. I think this one was about £10 and this one was about £2. So again, check charity shop, guys. You could find them and... They are very, very good. So we'll start off with this one. Like I said, it's the Hasbro's half a mask. Um, as you can see, it's been holed up by the Millennium Falcon. Uh, as you can see, it's half a mask. So it's just a half mask. You've got the strap here, which you can adjust, fits most heads. You've also got an on and off switch up here. Unfortunately, in my version, uh, the, uh, the sound just doesn't work anymore. Like I said, very old helmet. But the ones you buy, uh, the majority of them that I've seen, including this one, they have the Darth Vader breathing um, as a sound that repeats a few times. But it also has movie quotes, which is really cool, which the other two don't have. So he'll say quotes from the film, which is really, really cool as well. So as you can see, you just strap it on over your head, bring it down. And as you can see, it's a pretty decent helmet. Uh, it's not too warm because it's just half a helmet. This is a really good one if you're going to go out with the lads or you're going to go out with the gals and you're doing a bit of a fancy dress night. And you're having a few drinks and you don't want to be too warm or too heated and it's just like a relaxed kind of party like a halloween party this is probably the ideal one because you can just lift it up and you where you go kind of thing it's it's comfortable the only problem is when you take photos with the flash i have tested you can see your eyes through the lenses that's an easy fix guys as you can see there's screwdriver um screws here that you can take out and you can take the lenses out and you can replace them or if you really want to you could go over the inside with the black sharpie it probably make it less visible for you to see but it darkened it enough so maybe you wouldn't get your eyes in it but for this version i wouldn't really bother as you can see through there you can see straight through but again a good helmet and again price range like i said I think new, you can pick these up for about 9 99 but in charity shops, you get them as cheap as like a pound or two pound. So a decent mask. So up next, guys, we have the Ruby's Deluxe um, two-piece helmet. Now, guys, again, picked up in a charity shop, so mine's a bit beaten up and a bit broken. Brand new, I think you can pick these up online for about £30 um, if you can find them. I'm not sure if they still make them. Or if they do, they come with the Deluxe costume, which may be a bit more money because you get in the costume as well. But the good thing about this one, guys, it's a full over helmet. And if you haven't got money for the Black Series, this is a great helmet. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, I've had this up here in the Man Cave as my Vader helmet for years. I've had it in my my previous home as well as my staple Vader. And I use this for a, a Vader uh, costume as well. As you can see, it's a full over two-piece helmet. So you've got the cool domes, you've got the full there. Hides the back here looks like vader it's a decent helmet as you can see a part of mine has fallen off so you haven't got the silver by your mine's a bit dated now the way that the two-piece works is very very clever it's a i like how this works it's similar to the kylo ren it's a half mask because of the back it hides it with the kylo ren you've got the material that hides it which is brilliant and with this one you've got the dome so if i take the dome off as you can see it's stuck on with velcro so it's velcro inside there and there's velcro in here so as you can see you've got the half a helmet i will warn you i've got quite a big face it's very tight and narrow trying to get your head in here okay so you may have to stretch it a bit or if you've got a small head so you push it down like this so you've got this part over your head and then you stick this part on the top like that as you can see it's a decent helmet it's quite tight for me I've got quite a big head. 
but it works. I can see clearly out of it. Uh, I can breathe. You can hear me speaking. The only drawback with this helmet is there's no sound. There's no sound effects of the breathing. There's no movie quotes. But you can get for quite cheap online a voice changer that comes with the Darth Vader breathing, which you could use. Again, darken the eyes I would because when you take pictures, you can sometimes see your eyes through it. So if you want to use this for cosplaying, I would just darken the eyes. But as, as for £30, this is an awesome helmet. There was nothing like this around when I was a kid that I could just cosplay with or co dress up with. So it's a really decent helmet. You can see it goes straight over. And then it's easy to take off as well. There's no fuss, you just take it straight off like that and you're fine. This is a really decent helmet. You can also wear this as well if you want to do a Spaceballs cosplay as well. So really decent. I do like this helmet. For the price, it's very good. Just draw back, there's no sound effects at all. Now we're on the good stuff. The Black Series helmet is very weighty, which I didn't mention with these. Obviously, this one's very, very light. This one's quite light. This is weighty. If I'm honest, unless I was seriously doing a proper cosplay and I was dressing up and going full works, I wouldn't wear this out because it's weighty. I wouldn't want to take it off and leave it anywhere. I like it as a custom collectible here. But once it's on, it's on. It's not going anywhere. It's just very weighty. So as you can see, it's got a full over dome. It's a lot bigger than the other one. You can see this one comes in a bit narrower, but this one is a full size and it looks more movie authentic. It's exactly the same as a Stormtrooper one. The Stormtrooper mask for this, this one isn't as bad. I find the Stormtrooper deluxe model looks a bit cheap, but this looks like it's come straight from the movie and it is huge. You don't realize until like when you open the box and you see it, you're like, whoa, that's huge. So as you saw earlier, you take the top off and you reveal that amazing detail. Just have a little look at that detail. Do you know, it brings back memories of when I was a kid, I was watching Return of the Jedi and he takes it off for the first time. I absolutely love it. And the great thing with this as well, it's all fitted with magnets. So you can see in the top of the dome, there is four magnets in there and there's magnets on the top. Now, before I keep on going, I should play the sound effect. So you can see it's stuck on, I turn it upside down. See, it's not going anywhere. Not that you'd be doing handstands as Vader. But along the side here, you can see there's a small button when you push that. You get that really cool sound of Vader breathing. It repeats four times. And the great thing is, is the speaker's in the front of the mouth. So you get that sound coming from the mouth. So it sounds really authentic. The only drawback with the Stormtrooper Black series that I've got, the speaker's at the back. So when you're talking, it sounds really weird that it's at the back. But this one's at the front and you get a really cool sound. And I'm gonna come back to that because there's another cool feature with that, which is just steals it for me. So like I said, you take the top off and you see it's kind of a half helmet, it's kind of not. But I absolutely love all this detail. And look at the collar, you've got all this cool detail in here. And this is how you put it on. You've got the strap here to hold it in place, which you can adjust. And at the side, you've got to pull these off to take that off. And the battery compartment is in there. I think it was three, three AAA batteries. I think it was three or two AAA batteries. Um, but you can also take the other side off, so if you want to take it off completely, you can take it off completely. So that just comes off then, so you're just left with that. Now the very, very cool thing about this is it's not finished yet. It still has another part you can take off. So along here are more magnets, so when we lift it... It makes that very cool disengaged helmet breathing and you can see underneath the helmet you've got these series again of thick magnets and these two little prongs to fit in place so pop in up there a sec and you're left with this very cool look at the detailing on that it looks like it's come straight from the movie i love all these little wires and the little breathing apparatus by here but my favorite part is when you take the top part off and you've just got this just like in return of the jedi when Darth Vader's dying, listen what happens. There's only one button, so the, ch the voice changes when it's on the magnet. So when it's not on the magnet, it makes this noise. That is epic. It makes that dying Darth Vader sound effect 
while you've got it like that. So you can even cosplay as Darth Dying Vader. You can have your face all blued and maybe a, a mask. That is amazing. I love that feature. Probably my favorite part. So we're gonna put it on now. Now I will warn you, um, the first time I tried this on, uh, my wife was downstairs and she's just had a baby a few weeks ago. Uh, so she's still um, recovering with her stitches. Um, I put the magnets on and these magnets are strong. And because obviously it's an expensive helmet, I don't want to break it. I don't want to force it off and snap it. But I physically couldn't get the helmet off and she's crying laughing. She's like, stop making me laugh, it's hurting. But I will warn you, it does take a bit of taking off. So what we'll do first, we'll stick the one side on, I find is easier, back on there and then leave it open like that. And then what we're gonna do, we'll put it around your neck. It is a bit tricky. It does take some getting used to. Um, is that, is that right? No. It does go only one way. You'll notice, oh, you've got these little bits by your so It can only go, I think it's that way. Is that right? That's right. It can only go one way. So once you're taking it off, you can't, otherwise it won't fit properly. Right, there we go. So on it goes, and then fold that in. That's a bit easier, and then you've got to clip it in. Out of the three, this is probably the most awkward helmet to put on. But once you've clipped it on, you've got this bit, and you've got that cool... Die Invader sound effect. I got to Die Invader cosplay. It has to be done. So once you've got this part on, it's this part. Now, you've got to make sure that you line up the magnets in the right place and the two little, you can see the holes for the two little prongs. So pop this on. Down it goes. You'll hear the click of the magnet. And that cool sound effect. Now that is on. Ah, oh, that looks amazing. Uh, it's very comfortable. The way that the helmet is designed, it feels that it's held in your face. I feel like I could shake my head around. This isn't going anywhere, especially with the Velcro at the back as well, plus the neck guard. This ain't falling off your head, but you can feel the weight already. And now when we push the sound effect, it's back to the staple sound effect. So, without further ado, time for the dome. and just clicks into place. Guys, when you put this on, I feel like in Revenge of the Sith, when you lie in there and it comes on. And the sound effect. It is very, very comfy. Very clear vision. I've taken a few photos and you can only just see the eyes if you use a flash, but for most photos, you couldn't see, which is brilliant because visibility, I can see everything very, very clearly. It's comfortable. I feel like I can look around. I don't feel like this is gonna fall off, but at the same time, I can take it off quite easily as well. So I can just pop that back on. You gotta find the magnet. There we go. And it clicks on perfectly. And again, I feel like Lord Vader when I'm wearing this. It's very, very cool. And again, it's something. So let's take it off. Put it off. This is the tricky part. Oh, here we go. I lift up that way. Oh. That comes off. And then just undo the sides. And that comes off. But even though it's a bit trickier to take off, it's worth it. Because this helmet is just, in regards to detail, absolutely incredible. And again, how cool is that to do space balls? So there we have it guys, the three different Vader helmets. If you are a serious collector, I would 100% go for this one. It is an absolute steal. Now price range for this guys, I've seen it as, as high as £200. Uh, I was very lucky, I've seen it at about £100 online. I was watching it for a while and then Amazon had a, a sale around Christmas time and it went down to £79.99, so I had about £80. So for £80, it's an absolute steal. It's an absolute amazing piece. Great just to have on in, in your geek caves, but to cosplay as well, it's incredible. I'm very tempted now to create a full cosplay Vader costume because I think it's so cool. Uh, the £30 uh, Rubies one, a very good helmet to cosplay with. Only drawback is it's a bit smaller, not as movie authentic. But for the price, it is brilliant. You just need to provide your own sound or your own Vader breathing sound. And this one's a great casual, quickly has to do a costume, 
World Book Day, whatever, you just put it on, take it off, it has sound effects, and it has movie quotes as well. So very, very good. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video looking at the different types of Vader helmets. Um, I'm hoping to do a lot more unboxing videos, a lot more product reviews, looking at different things. I'm going to be looking soon at the Marvel Studios 10-year figurine set. Um, I've got a few Funko Pops I want to review with you as well, some limited edition ones. Plus, I'm going to be looking at a few things you can pick up in your local shops, which are cheap and cool to have in the Geek Caves. I hope you've enjoyed this video, Geeks, and remember, it's your cave, your rules, and I'll see you next time.